Hey, job students. Being for virtual for COVID makes us tough, but we're going to do our best. And I think what you guys probably struggle with most is that you have to guess. We're going to take and draw a line. We're going to take a best guess for making the ball bounce off the wall and go into the hole. And when we guess, we pretty much have to just pick a spot. Okay? And draw a line. All right. We know that this angle, which I'll label as A, has to be the same angle over here. And our only way to do this is through congruent triangles, or to draw the same triangle. So we're going to have to get some measurements. I'm going to make a right triangle here. All right. I'll put the, mark, the 90 in. And I'll measure this. It could be in millimeters, but I'm doing it here in inches because that's what the ruler I have is. All right. So one, one, two, three, four, five. So this is one and five sixteenths. Okay, I'm going to measure the length here. Let's see here. We're, my guess is right there. On the mark, three and a half. Three and five eighths. Three and ten sixteenths if you count the little marks. So I could write that as three and five eighths. Three and ten sixteenths. Everybody, we got to redraw this triangle. So I'm actually going to mark from the same point. This three is going to be here, and I'm going to measure the one here. And now... 3 and 5 eighths, all right, there we go. Then I go out 1 and 5 sixteenths on that mark, which is right there. Now, it doesn't touch the wall, well, that's okay, okay? We'll draw the triangle, all right? We know it's going to continue. And this triangle, act, and I should use a straight edge there, but boom, it continues. But now we know we have A and A. And we also know that we have angle B here now. And when this bounces off, we're going to have to draw this triangle here, right? So we're going to draw this triangle here. And what might be bothering you guys, it's tough being full virtual watching this at home, you have to guess. Is this going to end up in the hole? I don't know. And when we're wrong, we're going to come back and change our guess. Maybe we take the guess from here to here and change the triangle and start all over again. And there's seven sheets because I expect this to take 10, 12 tries minimum. All right. But again, every time we do this, we're going to use congruent triangles. So I'm going to measure this one real fast so you see another one. It's three and three quarter on this length. I'm going to measure over here. Ah, it's one and five sixteenths. Oh, big surprise. It's just a little bit over, so it's one and three eighths. So I'm going to measure one and three eighths here and then measure up. Okay, one and three eighths. And there's, I put a little mark for myself that I'm going to measure up three and three quarter. And again, it doesn't matter that it's in the wall because when we start drawing, boom. Guess what? This one does not get to the hole. This one does not get to the hole. We get B and B. So we got to start over from the ball or from the hole and figure, you know, it doesn't matter. But we got to connect these using, again, the same angles, right? Angle repose, okay, a little physics. And again, we can take a guess, and you know, and if it helps you, you can guess, right? You can say, oh, I know it's this much, so it's about this much. So you can say, oh, it's this much, and then you can say, okay, well, let's see if that's close. And this one's this, so maybe I just draw. All right. And lo and behold, now this is not going to be accurate, but all of a sudden you're like, oh, my gosh, maybe this is a place I want to try. And maybe I have to shift down a little. It's in between these two guesses until you get it to the hole. All right, now you can bounce it twice like this is shown, or you can try to bounce it three times. It doesn't matter. In the end, two times, three times, four times, we're going to end up drawing a path where the angles are the same using congruent triangles, and we're going to do some tangent work, okay? We're going to actually use tangents to figure out the angles inside. Um, don't fret about this, guys. Don't fret. Don't worry, okay? We'll just keep grinding at it until we get it, all right? But here's the big thing. This is kind of like the real world. We're going to try and fail. You're not going to get this on one try, and you're going to have to work at this, and it's okay. We'll use class time for it until we get it. Hang tight. We'll keep working.